Uh, we have a question now. What is the new requirements under the, the Act 2013 for company formation? And which type of company is newly incorporated in Companies Act? Um, so if you look at companies, so this is why this question doesn't really deal directly with um, you know uh, the amendments that have taken place. If you look at Companies Act per se, there are different kinds categories of companies. While you have the broad head of a private company and a public company, you also have um, you know foreign companies, which are companies which are not incorporated in India. Um, you also have one-person companies, uh, which companies which have just one shareholder or there's just one member in the company. Um, you also have uh, charitable companies which are registered and you know in a in a particular process of Section Eight, which talks about you know that you cannot take profits and losses, etc. And if you look at um, then you have producer companies. Um, you have small companies. Now, small companies, producer companies, charitable companies, they are separate classification depending on the purpose that they do. Uh, but these companies will also come under the private and public company um, uh, umbrella. Um, even under the private companies, you have companies which are limited by shares and then you have companies limited by guarantee. Shares is where I've actually paid up money and um, uh, once I paid up money, then my liability as a shareholder is limited to the amount that I've paid up. Uh, in case of a shareholding, uh, a, share, a company limited by guarantee, I commit a guaranteed amount so that in case there's a liability of the company, I can be called upon to pay up an amount that is equal to my the amount that I've guaranteed. Now, in a private company, um, a public company definition is very simply a company that's not a private company is a public company. A private company is basically a company which um, is by its articles largely. It's one is it has a minimum of two shareholders. A public company has to have a minimum of seven with two two shareholders, and which by its articles and there is a requirement under the section in, under the Companies Act itself will actually uh, you know restrict uh, you know acceptance of deposits other than um, by um, shareholders, directors, and their relatives. It um, um, you know there is a restriction on transferability of their shares. So uh, those are the two key components of a differentiation of a private company and public company. In pu a public company, the shares are freely transferable. The company can accept deposits from others as well. And of course, there are rules on how you can accept deposits and how you have to record them. Um, if you are going for listing of a company, that's if you go for an IPO, it's usually the a, a private company then converts to a public company, and the public company then goes um, for listing.